to YouTube viewers and welcome to another special interview. I am your host Suyo and today I have an awesome guest with me today, Miss Mira Kanegesaran and I'm so eager to talk to her because we have a lot of things in common. So welcome Miss Mira, how are you? Very good, thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem. So um, uh, you are the founder of Confidence um, Baratham. And so what do you want to say? Confidence Baratham. Um, Nrutya Kshetra Dance Academy and we started in 2006. Le. Okay. Um, and then um, in the Guru Madhuryar Murlidharan, mm -hmm. Chitra Murlidharan, we in the dance school in Chennai. It's called Nrutya Kshetra Dance Academy. Okay. And we named it Nrutya Kshetra Dance Academy Canada when we started here. Um, then uh, my passion to nurture um, confidence through dance training. Mm -hmm. So, Palil Pandangalta dance particular they will become dancers or choreographers or dance teachers and in Achichananga Soli Kurkamriyadam most of them will put their bells away at one point and move on to different careers so I mean the path and we'll go on to home and three other and get a dance school in the training later that we in a 33 point of another park we're good so Adala confidence uh, nurture I would think about it what are they taking with them um, how can we make our training better so they have something solid that they're going to use in life even if it's not just the dance that they learn there mm -hmm. so Adanala I wanted the name to reflect that okay. and, and then a confidence in confidence okay. Bharatam and, and plus Nrutik Shetra Dance Academy normal um, shows MC they'll struggle to pronounce it <laughs> <laughs> So, we don't have a name, we don't have a name at that point. And Confidence Bharatham, it's a catchy name. And it always, it's a conversation start. Are they in the Confidence? Why did you name it like that? So, it picked up and we use that more than Rithya Kshetra Dance Academy. But our school is registered under both names. Okay. So, now you are five years old, you are dancing for five years. How did you tell us? Um, at five years, um, I'm a papa on way, Krupa Ratne Swaran and the dance teacher to say, um, Padika Vitijanam. Very soon I started um, liking it very much. It, uh, I actually recently found a note, I think it was in grade three, I reclaim, uh, like favorite color, favorite food, and what are you going to be was dance teacher. Oh, <laughs> so it's something that I want, like it's my passion, it's my dream. Mm -hmm. Although, of schooling education took me different routes okay. and then came back to where I wanted to be. Um, and then after Kriparat Neswaran, um, I had the opportunity to learn from a few other um, prominent uh, dancers, okay. uh, like Chinna Chinna workshops, Apri, and then my advanced training was with Madhuryar Murali Dharan and Chitra Murali Dharan in Chennai. Okay. Um, uh, also, opening in the dance school open opening? Uh, 2006, mm -hmm. le, um, okay. and the guru, he came and we started the opened. school. Okay. And uh, in 2007, mm -hmm. our school became a uh, certified uh, a certification center for Argapa University, uh, no, Argapa Performing Arts Academy, okay. which is um, a program that offered for dance students uh, that don't live in India. Mm -hmm. um, so I will look at the certificate or a degree or a opportunity. I have a few students who are enrolled in it right now. If you are in the world, they are familiar, right? But I've seen what the students perform. It's very different and it's very catching and you, you like, you want to learn about it. So, I want to tell you, okay, the dance is a bit different. So, why is your dance different and what are you trying to teach in your dance? Okay, um, so my training is in Bharatanatyam. I've touched on Kathak and a few other forms, but it's nothing, I, I, I wouldn't call myself a Kathak dancer or any other form. Okay. It's only Bharatanatyam that I have proper training in. Um, in my career, I come with the tools that I learned from my Bharatanatyam training. But I do believe it's import, uh, important to let art evolve. It's okay. not a museum piece. It's something that changes with time. Okay. And um, I really think art is an expression. It's very individual. Mm -hmm. And my creative uh, 
process um, is probably slightly different from most Bharatanatyam dancers uh, you might have seen. Mm. Um, and I, I think it's okay to do that. And I, what I try to do is use the tools I have from my Bharatanatyam training to tell present day stories. And that's something that I've always been very passionate about. Can you about. give me some examples? Yes. Um, so I have the last uh, big pr production, actually the, our first big full length production, mm. Uh, was um, Destructive Desires, mm -hmm. uh, which touched upon the sensitive topic of um, our relationship with money okay. um, and, and greed. And so you showed that through dance? So you be showed that That's through amazing. dance, okay. yeah. And um, and actually my guru, Madhuryar Murli, then he's the one who composed the music for it with a very different flavor from what all the work that he has done because of what we went to him with. Mm -hmm. Um, and we did that, and again, these are all Bharatanatyam dancers, mm -hmm. but then when you start choreogra choreographing a, a topic like this, your movements start to look different. So we spent a lot of time just going through like, movement creation, like mm -hmm. why are we moving this way? Like This is the theme, this is this episode, this is the section of the production we're working on. Mm -hmm. So why are we moving with uh, this way? So I like to put a lot of thought into things like that. Okay. And I also think, um, it's it's a storytelling art form. I'm not saying let's not ever do padams and varnams mm -hmm. on on gods or goddesses or that let's not touch Hindu. Myth. I definitely love that all that mm -hmm. as well. But we also I also don't want to miss out on the opportunity to be able to tell stories that are relatable to our audience. That is. Um, that is um, inclusive of everybody. It could be secular stories that I anyone from any background can sit and watch and enjoy. Mm -hmm. Can but I ask you, did you ever get criticized mm -hmm. for um, Okay, um, yes, and um, maybe criticism um, is a good thing. Okay. Um, sometimes it's very disappointing when you've worked like, for a long time on a piece and and everyone has different differences of opinions, and I, I understand that. It's it's perfectly fine. Because some people uh, just like buy the books. Exactly, right? exactly, and um, and 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 that's okay if that's yeah. how they want to do their art, and if that's what art is to them or dance is for them, it, it's perfectly fine. But I feel like there, I mean, there are people who would come to me and be like, "Oh, I liked what you did, but I don't know if our audience are ready for that." But I think our, we have a very educated audience. We have a very smart audience and, and, and there are people who do appreciate this kind of work. Mm -hmm. and, and again, you cannot please everybody, right? right? You right. cannot satisfy everybody. And again, there are people who, who, who uh, practice differently, mm -hmm. uh, same art form, but differently, and I respect that. Mm -hmm. I will go buy the ticket and go watch them as well. I think it's, it's a, it might sound cliche, but it's a big ocean, there's space for everybody. Right. Um, and I think we need to have a healthy space where we can be ourselves and still appreciate each other right? and, think, and support um, each other. I think thing of on the different Aplisayeka, the different diversity people will join. Absolutely. You yes. can kind of teach them our culture. Yes. Um, do you have students that are not Tamil in your Yes, classes? I do. I do have students. I actually have uh, one of my adult students. Uh, she's celebrating her 50th birthday. Wow. She's uh, Guyanese and she's celebrating her 50th birthday as a Salanga Puja in June. Uh, yes, and um, I do, um, I have, I'm, ha I'm actually working with a mentor, Nova Bhattacharya, um, to do more of this work, and that's an uh, Ontario Arts Council uh, funded program. Mm -hmm. And through her also, I do a lot of um, like workshops and stuff where I get to move with different bodies, you know, not just Bharatanatyam bodies, which is great, and you tend to absorb um, the thing, the things that come out of those workshop, mm -hmm. and take that back to your practice, right? right? And Ninga, one the churches and uh, a lot of organizations sort of work, but yeah, there what was kind of dances did you teach them? Um, so uh, church was, uh, I think, it was about a two-year period, okay. um, and it was a church that Bharatanati may look and they believed because it uh, is rooted in Hinduism, which we cannot deny. Um, so Adhanala Bharatanatyam. Uh, cannot be performed on the church I mean the opinion mm -hmm. but we I, I didn't take the hin, hin, like Hindu songs and um, perform it there so I thought okay let's let's take their songs and create dance around that and perform, uh, perform it so I did so that you for did a that, bit, and yeah. that was a, like is that something that you're going to continue doing well um, I actually my last Arangetram last year um, she's Christian she did all the other part uh, pieces 
சிவன் மேல வர்ணம் எவ்ரி திலானா கிருஷ்ண கிருஷ்ணா மேல எல்லாமே பண்ணா பட் ஷி வாண்ட் டு டூ சம்திங் தட்ஸ் க்ளோஸ் டு அ ஹார்ட் அண்ட் ஷீஸ் வெரி ரிலிஜியஸ் கேர்ள் இஸ் வால் ஸோ விட் இட் த ஷப்தம் ஆன் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ் ஆன் ஆன் ஹிஸ் லைஃப் Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to uh, tell the audience about your school and you per se like um what makes you different from uh, the other teachers? <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know if I'm different. I think we are all different, right? That's mm-hmm. that's the truth. And uh, we should own that and embrace that and work with that and that's how we can be the best of what we can be. Mm-hmm. Um again as I said my work is probably a little different from um from what you usually see in the bharatanatyam scene at least um and sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes that doesn't get the support mm-hmm. always um as i said i've uh, a couple of other things i've done as um i've uh, choreographed for one of my uh, students arangetrams for vivaldi's four seasons okay. so we had a strings quartet so western classical music and bharatanatyam which was a beautiful combination okay. and then another one uh we did uh, poetry and dance spoken word uh on science and astronomy because she was a physics and astronomy major so i thought i'll include her other passion into the into her repertoire as well right mm-hmm. um so I, i i like to push some boundaries try different things um but still keep our basic training okay like solid or um as as proper as we can as authentic for lack of a better word as we can because i think that gives a f- strong foundation for for the dancers and then you take that and um do whatever you want with right. it be trailblazers go take it in different <laughs> directions that I, that's and, what i tell all the students and Miriam, um um you um and the one on one classes ninga kudukreenga right yeah. so i think that is so important because sometimes uh, kids are shy for example so they don't want to ask questions they don't want to take everything in and plus when you have a lot of students um how like how much are you really like spending time on them and if like let's say it's a one hour class and that it's hard right because i went to classes when i was younger and uh, you know i didn't feel the full satisfaction like you know this is my true calling but even though it was such a big passion of mine so how you do the one on one classes which i love that you do so tell us about that and why you do that okay i also started um i had four locations when i started so like scarborough brampton mississauga illadam odi odi i was trying to do what everyone else was doing okay. i thought that's the only way of doing things right. so um illadam um start panitirukke i felt like i couldn't give attention to the students or a program and like ellarum seekka mudiyadu schedule pandrathu kashtam and edho oru and mulumeya adu enak solli kudukrathu kashtam aanduchu and um, and also when you sit back and think about it um, what are you trying to do and the mass production of dances anga konde mudiya poda like what are you gaining through it so i started cutting one by one some of them a friends that could to i i said i'm just going to have one location and just focus on my students and then the bigger classes what happens is you you lose them mm-hmm. and um sila and, and there are different ways of doing things and they are all right i'm not saying on or say on the seri on plan and answer like la but in a part of it dancers come in different sizes different colors you know um and they all can be dancers mm-hmm. like you know I, you don't have to look a certain way to be a dancer um to me that's my opinion um and if dance is your passion no matter how you're built because that you cannot choose mm-hmm. um you should be able to do it mm-hmm. so adukku ba kayyenga vacha alaga irukku kanna apdi ninga paakekla ungalku nalla irukku nu solradhukku if i have 40 students in one group i probably can't give that attention right mm-hmm. so i think so if this way i can work with them individually and see what looks best on them okay and also give them that confidence to embrace their body as is okay. right because yeah. ellarum nanga perfect and nobody is born perfect and only if the all dancers have to look the same way yeah. not too many dancers yeah. will be around and i think every every uh, student with passion who comes into my room should be given the same opportunity mm-hmm. so i started doing a lot more private classes one on one classes or in or smaller groups mm-hmm. uh, which means i don't have a lot of time to do a lot of classes or take a lot of students mm-hmm. but it gives me a lot of satisfaction right. so you're making more of a difference <laughs> absolutely so um i'm sure uh, you got students at laram they're learning so much from you but tell me an, uh, a maybe like a, a student that changed your life or what did you learn <laughs> from one of the students no. if i pick one student i think i might be in trouble after they watch <laughs> this but i will tell you something i always tell my um, husband my friends uh, my st- students are my st- 
strength. And um, I've, I've, I have a good group of people, a good group of parents who are like family to me. Mm -hmm. And um, especially my older girls, I always tell them I learn something from them every single day. Mm -hmm. It might be something totally not related to dance. It might be something how they deal with me and how I deal with my gurus, because mm -hmm. I still go back to them. Um, so many things, but I, or how they time manage. I have, I have students who are, who are actually professionals working and they still are at my house all weekend. I have to chase them out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> I need a break, girls. <laughs> right, so it's, it's kind of nice how, how, how they juggle everything and still be able to dance. So I'm constantly learning from them. Where do you get your motivation from? Because I know it can be always um, amazing, like you make it seem, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, there are ups and downs like any profession. Um, where do I get my motivation from? Um, I think from my teachers, my students, music and ideas, really. And I have a very, very supportive family, yeah. um, which any artist needs to have that right environment. It's mm -hmm. not, like, I'm not, not to say anything is, any other profession is less, but when you're in a creative field, you really have to have a clear mind when you go into that space to create something, right? Right, especially you're a guru for a lot of people, yes. so your mind needs to be clear. Right? Exactly. So with that said, um, you are um, helping with the Mr. Tamil Canada, um, ama amazing organization. Yes. And and um, tell us how you uh, became, uh, you know, collaborating with them. Okay. Um, when I, I got a call to do um, a choreography for Mr. Tamil Canada's launch. Okay. And actually when I got the call, I was very injured, barely moving. Um, and I took a day to think about it. And I don't really, you don't see me or my students perform at a lot of shows. Because my, again, my creative process, my... Um, the way I do art is quite different, okay. um, but this especially, to, um, this had a huge initiative behind it mm -hmm. and to bring um, awareness about men's mental health, mm -hmm. um, I couldn't say no to it and I wanted to be part of it. Mm -hmm. um, so I, s I agreed to do it and then we started researching and it's such a heavy topic and of course, I mean, I would be lying if I said I, I don't know anyone with who has struggled with uh, mental, mental health, health illnesses, and then um, and we also live in a society where we throw words like oh I'm depressed or am I OCD so loosely when there are people suffering with this kind of mm -hmm. things, right? Um, so it 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 also looked like it's an opportunity for me to dig a little deeper into it, to do some research so we can put something proper together for this. And I saw it as a place where a conversation is going to be started about a topic that's so taboo in our community. Right. Um, so I, 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 I couldn't miss the opportunity to par be part of something like that. And again, how I said, and it, it, it goes hand in hand with the type of work I want to do as well, because mm -hmm. I always want to tell present day stories right, and here it is, say, yeah. right? Here it is. So when someone <laughs> gives it to you uh, like that, you... I think you, this you, is <laughs> for you. It exactly, for no, you. no. Because if you uh, did the financial um, stories yeah. and things like that, so, you know, this would be amazing. And I was there when uh, your dancers were on stage and like I, I actually was like stunned because I've never seen anything like that oh. before. So it was really, really. No, beautiful. I have to have to give the girls yeah. credit as well because we usually start the process with it's not like especially when we're working on productions like that. We sit down, we talk about it, so everyone knows what's happening. Right. It's not like you know they're working for me and here it is. Here. You're moving this way because then it won't come from their hearts. Exactly. Um, and when we sat down and we started talking about this topic and. Uh, things that the dancers started bringing, mm -hmm. um, bringing up, it w I was very surprised because at such a young age they have seen so much already, mm -hmm. right? So I, I think it's 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 a great um, platform where they're talking about um, men's mental health and mental health in general. I think it's something that we need to um, start talking about. Right. A little so more. thank you for being a part of um, that show. Um, and Miss Mira, I know that you said uh, when you were younger, you went in a different field. So you <laughs> play, you're going to go to university and you're going to study dance, right? Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I'm going back to school. Um, <laughs> I actually, uh, have my undergrad is in business management. Okay. And I worked in the financial sector for 10-ish years. Okay. Um, and then I was trying to juggle both dance classes and, and work, but... Um, about three, four, three years ago, mm -hmm. I made the decision to be a full-time dancer, choreographer, okay. 
uh, and teacher, and uh, which is great. That's probably the best decision I've ever made. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I am uh, in September. I'm starting my masters in dance at York University. Nice, it's very nice, and I know it's not easy to get in. So no, you, you, you can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Brian. Well, well, well um, I, I guess it was. It's a blessing I'm in, and um, I guess uh, I've done some works that I was able work already mm -hmm. that I was able to. Um, show and um, so they were like, we want solid you, resume. We want I don't you. know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. But it's it's nice because it's not a Bharatanatyam program. It's a dance program, so I'll have exposure to a lot of different other dancers as okay, well. Because okay. I'm, I'm guessing I might even be the only Bharatanatyam dancer okay. in the program this year, right? So. Nice. so they can learn from you as well. Hope right? so. <laughs> I hope so. So, Ismira, what is your goal for um, yourself, and what is your goal um, for like your school? Okay. Um, in terms of my school, of course, um, like school, I want to have a professional company, um, a dance company. Uh, that is the goal there, mm -hmm. um, and I want to make sure my students also. Um, you know, get to the next level. They don't need to be students all the time. I actually have two of my students who are who f um, completed the Arangay drums and they're choreographing most of the pieces themselves wow. and I'm doing Natalangam for them in June. Nice. So those are the things I would like to see more. Yeah. Um, and in terms of work, again, I, I want to use the tools that we have from Bharatanatyam, which is, which is a lot of, um, you know, technique and, and everything that's, that we already have. We don't really need other forms to, to do, to do uh, what I want to do, which okay. is um, tell present day stories and more and more of it, where we can um, in, include uh, all sorts of audiences and be very, you know, relatable for our audiences as well. So if anybody watching today wants to be a part of your class or just to get more information um, for their kids or for themselves, um, what's the best way to contact you? Um, on, we're on Facebook as um, still as Nrithi Kshetra Dance Academy Canada okay. or NDAC. Um, in DAC okay. or um, Instagram as Confidence Bharatam okay. or my phone number is 416-801-3983. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. I'm a big fan of dance. Oh. It's something that I couldn't uh, finish because... Um, it's never too late. Right, after, <laughs> you know what? You're inspiring me so I might just come and join Absolutely. your school. <laughs> so thank you so much for uh, joining us and I will see you at Mr. Tamukanda show. Yes, absolutely. And thank you for having me. You are very inviting and thanks for making it very comfortable. Awesome. And thank you, TET. And everyone, please do come for Mr. Tamla Canada June 1st and support. Thank you so much. All right. All right, TET viewers, I hope you had a um, lot of information from Miss Mira. And if you're like me, um, let's go and get uh, her contact and let's go join the school, okay, and make our dreams come true. So uh, Miss Mira gave us a lot of information about this amazing uh, cause that she's involved with and her amazing school. She's doing everything so different and unique, which is really interesting. So um, definitely um, get in touch with her if you're into dance for either for yourself or your family members or for your kids and I hope you enjoyed this interview and I will see you guys next time on another special interview. It's me Suyo signing off. Bye.